A thermometer is a special tool used to measure the temperature of a solid, liquid, or gas. A thermometer has two important elements, a temperature sensor and the means to convert the data into a numerical value. The three most common units of measurement used for measuring temperature are Celsius, Fahrenheit, and Kelvin. The earliest concept of a thermometer was invented by ancient Greeks. Their simple devices used air expansion to move water and would be considered primitive forms of a thermoscope. Italian engineer Galileo Galilei, however, is often credited with the invention of the thermoscope in the late 1500s. A thermoscope was a device that used the expansion of air to move a column of water inside a tube. His invention could show the changes, but it had no scale. Santorio Santori developed a scale in the early 1600s to quantify temperature changes within the thermoscope. Modern thermometers now come in various types, including digital, infrared, and liquid. The manufacturing process for each type varies significantly, but they all start the same way. Before the manufacturing process begins, engineers create a design using computer-aided design software. Prototypes are often made using 3D printing or CNC machining to test the design and make adjustments as needed. Designs will go through several checkpoints to ensure quality, usability, and accuracy before they're mass-produced. Digital and infrared thermometers have several key components. Digital thermometers require a sensing element like a thermistor or a thermocouple, a microcontroller unit MCU, to process the temperature signal, a display unit, and a casing made from metal or plastic. Infrared thermometers require a sensor that detects thermal radiation optical lenses to focus on the thermal radiation, an MCU display unit, and a metal or plastic casing. The thermoscope used water encased in glass, but nearing the 17th century, the invention took a turn. The Danish astronomer Ole Christensen Romer developed a new temperature scale called the Romer scale in 1702. The freezing point of pure water was 7.5 degrees, and the boiling point was believed to be at 60 degrees. Modern thermometers have since been refined, opting for the use of ceramics and metals rather than glass and alcohol. All modern thermometers have a sensing element inside. The main three kinds of sensors are the thermistors, thermocouples, and infrared sensors. Thermistors are made by forming shapes out of ceramic materials and sintering them at high temperatures. Thermocouples are made by joining two dissimilar metal wires at one end to form a junction. Infrared sensors are usually made from materials like thermopiles or pyroelectric crystals and are manufactured inside clean rooms using the semiconductor fabrication process. The MCU and integrated circuits are created on silicone wafers in semiconductor foundries using photolithography, doping, etching, and other similar processes. LCDs are a little more different and not quite as complicated. LCDs are made by depositing a thin layer of liquid crystals between two substrate filters and squishing them together, or as scientists call it, polarizing. Liquid crystal displays typically have seven layers of sodium-free clear filters that allow light to travel through and light up the display screen. Depending on the type, model, and manufacturer, a thermometer may be bought with a plastic casing or a metal casing. To make plastic casings, manufacturers use injection molding. Plastic granules are melted and injected into molds to form the desired shape of the thermometer casing. Metal stamping or casting is where metal sheets are stamped with the casing molds. Molten metal may be poured into a case where it cools and takes form. Once the pieces and parts have been created, it's time to begin the assembly process. Pick-and-place machines are automated machines that insert the small components of a thermometer like resistors, capacitors, and the MCU. Surface mount technology SMT, equipment uses solder paste to keep the small pieces in place. This will be passed through a reflow oven to harden the solder. Insertion machines are for the pieces that need to be inserted through holes in the printed circuit boards, or PCBs. A thermistor or infrared sensor is connected to the PCB via the insertion machine. The automation ensures proper placement for the most accurate temperature measurement. Depending on the manufacturer's way of things, the LCD will be attached to the PCB via conductive adhesives or soldering. 
Ultrasonic welding, or screws, are methods used to attach the front and back halves of the casing. Ultrasonic welding uses high-frequency vibrations to bond plastic parts together without melting them. The next step in this highly technological process is calibration and testing. Calibration chambers are temperature-controlled environments used to calibrate the sensors. Testing machines will further this process with automated systems. This step is crucial for ensuring the accuracy, functionality, quality, and durability of the product. During this step, the final quality inspection will commence as well as any final assembly. If the thermometer passes, it will be packaged and ready for distribution. The manufacturing process of modern thermometers is a lengthy, complex process that involves the use of advanced technology and machinery. Modern thermometers are designed to be as precise and reliable as possible. Many ancient hands were used to build the early conceptions, much like dozens of other innovations we still use today.